Hi guys, back once again for Independent Media Wolves Manchester and as always, quick off the bat, I'm independent, I'm influenced by absolutely nobody, paid by absolutely nobody and I don't affiliate to anybody but Wigan Warriors supporters group which is another group I actually run myself. Okay, right. This video is about the farce that is Sir Kim Darrick, the champion of diplomatic noblism, who just happened to fuck up his career. I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter what your reputation is. It doesn't matter how many years you've built up good public service. You're as only as good as your last week in your job. And I'm afraid, once the truth came out, the last week in your job was absolutely pathetic. If Sir Kim Darrick had have come out straight away and issued a full and frank apology, there is the minutest of chance that he could have saved his job. He chose not to do that. The simple truth is that Sir Kim Darrick, although a great public servant, there is no doubt about that, and he gets widespread common support, and in the Cabinet, and from the outgoing Prime Minister, Teflon Theresa May, who appointed him as ambassador um, to America. The point is, he fucked up. You cannot, he, just as you cannot slag off the the, the president or the prime minister of Estonia, you especially cannot slag off and call into question the president of the United States. If you do not hold elected office and you are a just effectively just a civil servant, although quite a prominent role, if you are in the civil service, you are meant to be by definition civil. Sir so Kim Darrick, in those leaked emails, described Donald was less than civil, anything but civil, in his assessment of Donald Trump and the White House. Now, I am not, by any stretch of imagination, defending Donald Trump. I criticise Donald Trump on a regular basis myself, but as an independent media, part-time amateur journalist, that is my right to do so. I am in... I am... I don't have to be biased, I don't have to be impartial, I'm just independent. Whereas when you're working for the UK Civil Service and you are essentially their top foreign diplomat, second only to the Foreign Secretary and his ministerial team, which effectively you're above their ministerial team. If you're the ambassador to America, you are well, literally, as some would argue, you are on level with the Foreign Secretary because... America decides pretty much world affairs all over nowadays, except if you're in China. Now, if you are the UK ambassador to America, you are essentially the top cheese of the foreign uh, diplomatic service. If you behave in such an unprofessional manner, it doesn't matter what your reputation is, you deserve to lose your job. If, say, let's just say... Pick one out. Say if you work in financial services and you had a foreign representative from Barclays UK going over to the the American side of financial services institutions and obviously Barclays in America. But if you were a working official in, say, Barclays UK and you were slagging off America politics, the President of the United States... Also, you know, extend it to the American financial services institutions, you would lose your job instantly. In some cases, you could argue it is gross misconduct. Sir Kim Darrick was allowed or afforded his own decision in, in the fact that he was enabled to resign. Sir Kim Darrick has been a public servant for God knows how many years. He will get a pension. He may even get another job. Right, he is set for life. He don't have to worry about his his financial terms. He was on thousands a year, thousands of pounds per year for doing his job, gold plated, iron clad pension. 
He's fine. The truth is, though, he has done great damage to the relationship between the UK and the US. It will always remain a special relationship. There will be trade deals done with the United States. Yes, there has been a meeting cancelled between Liam Fox because Sir Kim Darrick was going to be involved in that meeting as the UK ambassador to the US. The, the meeting was cancelled. The Sir Kim Darrick also cancelled a meeting that he was supposed to be at. Um, and then therefore, you know, it was this, he was decided himself that his job became untenable. Theresa May was still backing him. The Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, who could but probably won't be Prime Minister, have backed him to the hill. The House of Commons have backed him to the hill. Even, you know, the, uh, the, the opposition had backed him to the hill. Jeremy Corbyn himself had backed him. The problem is, when you, when you see that Boris Johnson, quite rightly, failed to back him, it wasn't that he threw him under a bus. He did the right thing. When you slag off Donald Trump, who is probably the most strongest of characters in US presidents, probably since Ronald Reagan, possibly even further than that, further back in time, you cannot go up against somebody like Donald Trump and don't expect consequences. Donald Trump is armed to the teeth with social media. He uses social media... Uh, more more than any politician in living memory, he puts out a tweet, the whole fucking world listens, right? Now, his language and his assessment of Sir Kim Darrick is colourful. It's possibly unprofessional himself. He, he, you know, you can't... Sometimes you just cannot fight fire with fire. You, you cannot act like it's a school playground where, you know, immature language gets responded with even further immature language... But you can see, when you trigger somebody like Donald Trump, you should expect consequences. You cannot slag off, or, or and especially use the language that was used, especially put it down in writing. Do you know, you know, when you circulate it to the amount of people that you do, someone somewhere has obviously stored it for a rainy day and decided, right, this is the time it comes out, this is how it. This is how it goes down. He must have known that somebody was would have leaked it one day. Maybe this was his plan all along. Maybe this was his plan to resign because either he wasn't happy with Theresa May, um, and but even though he was appointed by her, maybe he just wasn't happy in his own job. Maybe he wasn't happy in his own life. But the simple truth is. You know, it reverts back to the basic point. You cannot do what he did and not expect consequences. Everybody in the UK is kicking off about it. Oh, you know, the, the, you know some are, are for what happened. Um, some, you know, at the end of the day, some say, right, he has to speak independently. He has to give his honest assessments. Very, very true. Why don't you just do it in a private clandestine meeting where things don't get written? Say it in a phone call that isn't recorded. Say things like that. Comments like that can never be allowed to see the light of day. If that was in in the situation where somebody had just been elected Prime Minister, you're about to serve a term of four years, then that comes out. What's going to happen? Then that Prime Minister still then backs that diplomat. What's going to happen to the relationship between America and the UK? It could potentially suffer. Now, the other reason it's not going to be is because the, the, lack of the, fact is, the fact is Boris Johnson is going to win the Tory leadership contest. It's just a question of the margin. He has already has a great relationship with Donald Trump. That doesn't mean he licks his ass. It doesn't mean that at all. Boris Johnson is his own man. He's demonstrated that time and time again and is charismatic and uses colourful language. He... Donald Trump probably models himself of, on Boris Johnson's language, but does it the American way. If anybody's going to lick anybody's ass, it's Donald Trump that's probably going to lick Boris Johnson's. Let's get that right. Donald Trump is all pro Britain. He's, he's you know, he, he literally licks the ass of the uh, of the uh, monarchy. He, he loves the Queen. Probably fantasizes about her in bed. 
and they're, they're you know therefore but Donald Trump what we, we've got a just going slightly off topic what we've got we've got to revert back to the fact is Sir Kim Darrick has slagged off the most powerful man in the world you, you cannot do what he did imagine if Donald Trump turned around and said sorry no you know we're, we're going to be not cutting all ties off with the UK but rolling back some of the ties that we have with the UK we're going to cancel any future trade talks just deal with the existing deals can you imagine if somebody like Boris Johnson who doesn't have a close relationship with um, or somebody else like Boris Johnson who doesn't have a close relationship with the President of the United States Jeremy Hunt definitely doesn't I mean Jeremy Hunt is liked by the President but he doesn't have a close relationship and I mean you can see the way that Jeremy Hunt has defended Sir Ken Darrick suggests that there would be a lot of challenges between Jeremy Hunt and Boris, um, Bar uh, Boris Johnson but also the fact that Jeremy Hunt if he became Prime Minister would challenge uh, Donald Trump um, in a more public view Boris Johnson would do the same, but probably would do it in private. So, you know, at the end of the day, Sir Kim Darrick is going to ride off into the sunset now with a gold-plated pension. He's a multi-millionaire. He doesn't have to worry about his career because his career is now over. Um, thank you once again for your support. Please like and share, comment, subscribe. Even if it's negative, I do listen to our feedback. Thank you very much.